Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So I've made a couple of decisions about this series. One, we were going to go to we were going to go to episode 100. I think I'll probably go beyond that. Uh, but what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to wind down the number of episodes per day because we've got two other series going on right now with the newer version of uh, Rogue Tech. So um, since this this version is a dead end version, we can't upgrade. Um, I will still be playing missions. Um, with this version of Rogue Tech, but um, I'll probably just do them sporadically. I'll continue along um, with the series, um, just because we're in clan territory, uh, where we have the ability, uh, we have some high level mechs, we can just see what the, the combat out here is kind of like. So that being said, the first thing we want to do is let you know we've jumped systems again. So if we go to the star map, we are at Gatekeeper, which is right here owned by uh, uh, clan Novacat and it's a one and a half skull planet so there's uh, some half decent mission here, missions here we can take I know which mission we're going to take today but the first thing we want to look is the mech bay now we have upgraded a lot of our mechs you'll notice here we were missing the uh, catapult A1 uh, that was the one that had the arrow system and the thunderbolt system on it. Now we talked about upgrading the Zeus to be the new catapult and that's exactly what we did. So let's have a look at the Zeus first here. So what I went ahead and did is I basically redesigned this entire mech. Um, arrow system in the arm. Uh, and then what I did is I put uh, two ER large lasers in it and a couple of clan LB5Xs. The LBXs um, seem to be working really nicely on the Warhammer. Um, these things do 15 damage per projectile, four projectiles, plus or minus three, recoil of two, but it's got plus one accuracy and plus one evasion ignore. 50% chance more to deal critical hits, which I think will be effective against the clans, and a very long range, so maximum of 810 meters. The arrow system itself, um, we're firing out to 1750 obviously it's a lot farther ranged but um, having these two weapons and the ER large lasers over a thousand like a thousand meters right so having these this weapon system will allow this mech just to stand back and shoot from a distance now the heat sinking on it is actually pretty good 81 over 78 which means we'll be able to move a fair bit and fire um, we rounded it off with the Artemis system to give the arrow system a better chance to hit and a warfare suite to give all the weapons a little bit better chance to hit uh, increased sight and sensor range and evasion and all that stuff. So that's kind of how this one is laid out. Uh, oh yeah, also we have AC5 precision ammo as well. So we've got two tons of ammo, enough for 15 turns of firing. So I think the Zeus now is is basically got a new life to it. Definitely better than the catapult. So yeah, that's uh, that's the Zeus. And then what I did is I just made some minor modifications on some of the other mechs. So I wasn't really happy with the way, sorry, um, King Crab's fine. I think I made a couple of minor modifications on it, but it's basically still the same. We fixed the rotary autocannon um, that had taken um, crit damage. We couldn't uh, get another ballistic mount, but what I did is I put a regular arm mount in it and stuff. So other than that, it's pretty much still the same. The Marauder 2, however, is slightly different. So let's have a look at this guy. So the Marauder 2... Um, Still the same loadout, with the exception of the um, the HA-30, which we had in this this uh, arm. I changed it for a Rotary 5 with some Case 2. Um, the heat sinking on this mech is actually not that great. I mean, we were, we're over by about 20 heat. Um, but I did add the clan heat bank that we picked up in the last episode in here, too. So we have plus 50 maximum heat, plus 30 over overheat threshold. So this guy will be able to shoot for quite a long time. Um, but yeah, so that's how this that's this guy. He's loaded out. We got some endo composite in here um, to get a little bit of weight back. But uh, yeah, so that's how this guy ended up. And then we swapped out. If we go to um, was it the Warhammer? No, where did I change now? Wasn't the King Crab? Sorry, I'm just trying to think where I dropped that other. We have one more ER large laser. Was it the Yagamek I dropped it into? No. I used an ER large laser somewhere else. Was it here? Yeah, sorry, it was here. 
because we had a regular large laser triple plus in here before, which we put the ER large laser in the uh, router two. That's right. So uh, we have you know higher output, longer range on this guy, and that was it really. Um, I didn't really change anything else. Um, I ran a few side missions just to keep ourselves above um, the financial reports and to pay for all the repairs that we had to do and all the mechs to get them upgraded. So I did run a few extra missions, um, just like half skull missions. But I tell you, even the half, even the half skull missions out here, um, I ended up running against heavies and um, high end medium mechs. So uh, it was good that we had the extra weight kind of going in and and smashing them. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go right to the command center and go to contracts. And we're going to do a take the bait mission today. Uh, I want to see how we do against this. Going against Clan Cl uh, Cloud Cobra. Um, it's got... Uh, sorry, we're fighting for Clan uh, Cloud Co My God, Clan Cloud Cobra. Like, <laughs> still having trouble with that. Against uh, Hell's Horses. So let's negotiate this, and we're going to go full salvage, accept the mission. Hopefully we don't get uh, wrecked too badly here. We still do have some stuff that we can sell, so not really that worried about it. So I did use the main lance here to get a little bit more experience, but we're going to drop in our guys here. So we're going to go with the Annihilator, then the Zeus, and King Crab, and Marauder 2. So let's deploy this lance and see what we, how we can do here. All right. So cramped map. Look at this place. Really 35 and 35. So we're definitely going to have reinforcements coming in most likely. Receiving you. All right. So we're full assault lance here. Um, we are not going to. Hmm. Let's reserve this. Yeah, they're just going to wait. Um, yep. Zeus has still got r pretty good movement. I didn't lower the engine at all on this guy. Let's move over here. All right, full speed. 70, 10. So this is the main, this is the main guy, I guess, with a lance. So he's probably got a, at least one lance of reinforcements coming in. Yeah. Now, being the clans, they're going to be able to see us early on. So I don't want to get too close. Making sure we're in the trees. Orders. On the move. Full speed. Okay. So I'm not convinced that this loadout for the Annihilator, the four Gauss Rifles, is the way to go. Um... We do have one clan LBX-10. I'm thinking if we can get a few more of those, that might be interesting. Ultra 20s or something like that would be nice too. Here they come. Yep. So that 10 ton vehicle's gotta go. Basically all it does is sensor lock people. This guy right here. So they're going to double turn us here, and that's fine. Heads up, Commander. Yep, I know. Got hostile contacts in Is that a white? Probably. Yeah, 35. Most likely a white. That's fine. Clan Jenner. Wow, that's good movement. 3C. Oh, look at that. Small and micro pulses. Not that he's going to survive, but... He probably won't make it past this next turn. That's all you got? So the Zeus is going to be peg pinged for a couple of turns here. Um, Good to go. Thirty-two, huh? 
have no idea what that guy will be. Thirty-two and thirty-eight. All right, let's see if we can get that vehicle out of the way. Wield APC. All right, so let's multi-target. Let's put these guys on B and fire. Okay, that should be that guy. He won't be sensor locking anybody else. Okay, so they got more than one heavy mech, it looks like. Interesting loadout. Oh, they don't like me at all. No, they don't, man. Standing by. Not sure why that is. Okay, I'm going to get him behind the rock here. Uh, block some line of sights. And this guy needs to go, so let's do this. Let's see how our loadout works here. This arrow system is the main weapon, but let's see what else everything else does here. I'm taking the shot. Oh, not bad. Scored a critical hit. Okay, not bad. I want to see what it's like against the target out in the open. Uh-huh. Okay. Can we get it from here, though? Yeah, but I want to be able to see him with good line of sight. Nova Cat D, huh? Large heavy lasers. These things do can't remember, like 75, 80 damage each or something? Um, he did fire, so let's remove that. Let's use Warlord and fire. Okay, couple of hits. Waters? This guy got left in the center here, 40. So we're going to multi-target. I'm uh, going to shoot this guy and this guy. B will take an ER large and everything else will go to A. That's a lot of heat, but we can go for two turns this way. Engaging multiple targets. Okay, nice. Wasn't enough to kill him? Where do we hit? Where do we hit? Oh, the arm. Really? So Mr. Crab should be able to finish off this guy. And we'll blast this Nova Cat. Actually, I think we're going to make sure we knock this Nova Cat down. So I'm trying to think of other outlet ways to um, outfit this um, annihilator. I know um, some people talked about using it as like a uh, fast mech that can move in with a lot of nice close-in uh, weapons with uh, lasers and stuff like that. But this thing doesn't have that that many hard points, unfortunately. I think we really need to get some clan mechs with tons of hard points for that to work work really well. But as a long range fire off oh, for fuck's sakes. Of course. For a long range fire support support platform, this thing works really well. So let's move up here and we're gonna shoot at can we get them? Can. Can't target them both though. Let's get into here. Got it. And we're gonna multi-target. Most of the stuff's gonna be on him and one shot to be. And let's just fire. Affirmative. That should be enough to knock him down, I think. Yep. 
And of course, shooting for the arm again. Because that's totally needed. Uh, that's kind of cool. So many ton are the H uh, HA thirty. Could sprint, but I want to maximize my chance to hit. We're not taking a lot of damage at this point, so not that worried. We do want to lose this guy though. I'm gonna see if we can double leg this guy. We can get some parts off him. Okay, we got the right leg. Not much left here on the left. He's turning himself so that we can't hit it though. I'm here. Okay, Hickory, let's get around the side here. And we've got a multi target. Zora's got how much armor? Almost nothing. I'm gonna do this. And the Zora will take the A. And maybe one of these guys and everything else to be. Confirmed. Wait, what? Alright, never mind. We got them both anyway. <laughs> ADD much? Seventy damage. Eighty tonner. That could be a Naga. Maybe it is. What's up, Commander? Um, there's a possibility that that's what that is. So we need to get the eyes off us down here. Um, no, you need to stay in the trees. Ah, oh God. Let's just fire on him. Nope, there's a knockdown. Nah, two of four. They can still see us from long range, right? Damage. Joy of being the clans, I guess. So that's three mechs. Right, then there's the missile launcher. Oh, going down. And then there's the uh, HA-30 mech. Okay, two of four left. Mr. Krabs, let's get up here, please. I copy. See if we can pinpoint this guy's other leg. Uh, I'm gonna leave both racks off. I'm just gonna fire the uh, ERs. Affirmative. Oh, are you serious, dude? Let's see what he does. Okay, we got eyes on up there. Looks like a cataphract or something. What's that guy? Stormcrow. Just making me mad. Managing oh, did I just do that? No. No. What was I thinking? Guys, don't play the game when you're tired, man. Whatever you do, 
Don't play when you're tired. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I did that. I guess, if you want to look at it positively, I'm not taking instability damage. Warning. Armor low. It can't knock me down if I'm taking a nap. Ready for order. Okay, Pylon. Can we get... No, we can't. Let's just do this. I want to see what we're up against here. Jager Mac 2C. And 44 left, eh? Yep. Fire the multiple enemies. Right torso and right arm destroyed, but I didn't even get the leg. Stop shooting me! This guy's like a walking skeleton. Man, I'm paying for it. Well, at least we have lower heat value. You know what I was thinking? I clicked on me and I, w I thought I was going to say stand up. For some reason, it, I didn't misclick on it. It didn't say that it said done and I clicked on it by accident. Man. That's the 35, that's the 80. Oh, wait a minute. Ugh. Let's get into here. See if we can take this leg off. Damn it. I think this guy's just acting as uh, eyes on. So let's get eyes off. Let's get this guy doing what he's supposed to be doing here. Staying in the trees. Yep. And fire. Yeah, that wasn't so good, was it? Something, Something you can do. Yeah, there is. Hmm. Forget the salvage. In all oh, now we hit the leg. Target eliminated. Standing by. Okay, we can get eyes on the 80 now. Hope it's a Naga. Sure is. Um. Uh, should have used Phantom Mac, but forgot I had it again. Let's fire everything. Firing. Full compliment on it. Okay, good start. He's unstable. They're reserving, eh? I'm here. No, gotta be direct fire. There we go. Okay, firing on this guy. Arrow B arrow. Going down. Oh, that was a head hit too. Must be from the LBX. Thank God those arrows are missing. It's weird because my systems hit like quite frequently and theirs just aren't. Huh. K 
Can't see that nag anywhere. Let's move around to here, though. Understood. Moving fast. The Jaeger Jaeger mech. Let's fire on him. Oh, another head hit. Nice. Stop shooting me. As much as I like multi-target, I'm starting to think that later in the game, especially against the clans, that phantom mech skill is like really powerful. Like Phantom Mech, and I mean, look at the Chevrons of Evasion on the Assault, right? It's crazy. It only lasts for two turns, but in a, in a pinch, it's like... Really good. Alright, let's take the Warlord. And let's try and take the most guns off the field. Jaeger, I guess, because he's lightly armored too, his fire. Yeah, three to four, not bad. That's alright, man. You'll be just fine. Alright, what are they doing here? See, the large pulse... Okay, here's the thing. That large pulse hits a fair bit, right? 26 damage per shot, right? But the thing is, it's like... It's like 40 heat or 50, 50 or 40 some odd heat or whatever it is. And he can only fire one weapon. And then he's done. I mean, he's got evasion and everything, but it's like if you're only firing a single weapon out of all your your um, weapon systems before you overheat, is something wrong. So once again, using the Phantom Mech, just moving over here by walking, six chevrons of evasion. Pretty good on an assault mech. We're gonna fire on the Naga. Hopefully, we can knock him down. There he goes. Okay, we're gonna try for a head hit next. Pew pew. Yeah, I'm beginning to see the power of Ace Pilot later in game. Gotta rethink how I'm gonna do my pilots. The multi-target's definitely handy. It's questionable though as to which one's more powerful. Like, I mean, yeah, I, I mean this is lasting for two turns, but still, look at that, right? Uh, okay, so let's fire on... We're only going to get one shot before the Naga gets up, so let's target this guy. Uh, headshots. Headshots all the way. Let's try it. I don't want to blow his arm off, but let's leave the rack off and fire the rest. There we go. Jagger Max next. So the Zeus, even though it's lightly armored at range, look how devastating, look at this. I just walked over here and this guy's just gonna die. Look at this. So yeah, I'm liking the new loadout in the Zeus. Okay, just a matter of time now. Thirty-five. 
51. Yeah, starting this guy. Okay, the Yag Yagi boy's getting up. The only reason why I'm letting him up is I want to see if I can knock him down one more time and, uh... Oh, this guy's going first. Shoot. It's hoping for a head hit on him, but... Maybe not. Yeah, if we were facing heavies or assaults, this would be a very problematic uh, match. Standing by. Gonna have to shoot that guy sooner or later. Let's fire on this guy. Can I not see the Jager mech anymore? Well, Stormcrow it is. Firing. I had 90 some odd percent chance to hit with the arrow system and I missed. Buster now. Hmm. The Jaeger's like... Oh, his head's gone. Well, hopefully the mission ends. Be very bad if it doesn't. Firing everything. Okay, that guy's gone. Now we just gotta get uh, the dexterous guy here. And firing. All Accuracy through volume of fire. No damage detected. What are you doing? Huh? Should have jumped. Should have jumped. All right, firing. Target's taken a critical hit. Yeah, what can I do, you fool? All right, firing. I got Is he unstable yet? Yep. And yeah, it's the end of him. You want to shoot us? You die. Alright, we got an arrow system coming in here. I'm here. Yeah, no point in even moving. Goodbye. Oh my god, it missed. How does it miss and get a head hit? Damage. How does that even work? How do you... That's a couple times now I've seen the arrow miss, land next to the mech, and actually damage it somehow. Good to go. 
So I don't know if they coded that in on purpose or what that was, but uh, there it is, folks. Thought this guy had been dead by now. There we go. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright guys, 78,000. That's not a lot. Definitely going to be going to repairs for sure. No penetrations. Uh, I don't think we took any crits at all. Pretty sure we didn't. Two injuries though. That's just nasty. 24 days. All right, uh, Naga parts, man. We want a Naga. I mean, we can start collecting them. Nova Cat parts. Oh my God! Do we take two arrows? I don't know. Here are micro lasers. Point two five tons. Ten damage times three. Or I guess it's just 10 damage. Uh, LBX AC5s. Medium heavy lasers, ER. Medium ER pulse. 13 times 4. Hmm. What's the range on that? 24 heat though. 560. Uh, clan armor. It's got built-in case, though. Don't know if we can actually use that for anything. Let's grab it, though. Um, enhanced imaging. Minus 10% damage taken. Plus 5% weapon damage. Once again, we looked at this before, and really it's like... <sighs> if you think about 5% damage, it really isn't a lot. On, on an AC-20, it's 105 rather than a hundred. Um, I mean, really the only bonus you'd get is if you had uh, the PPC capacitors, it would really help out too, right? I mean, it's only a few points of damage per PPC per hit. Like it's really, but the minus 10% damage is really nice. Man, you could spend years out here just enjoying, like, just killing stuff to max out all your all your gear. This exchanger is super valuable. Um, I don't really see that we need to have a need for the clan armor at all. This is the kind of thing you would throw in with the arrow systems or something, but I guess maybe not the arrow systems. Uh, let's take it. Maybe I'll prove myself wrong, but I really don't think that that's uh, really all that useful. The minus 10% damage is good, but you don't get any bonus sight range, right? No sensor rage, nothing like that. I can't justify it, guys. I can't do it. 5% is nothing. Don't know how often we're going to come across these, so let's take them. Take it where we can. All right. All right, no, no, we've got a Naga part, Jager Mech part, two Nova Cat, Storm Crow part. Oh, we've got six now. Regular ER medium, XL we can sell. Another Artemis system. Okay, not bad. 
Well, we gave uh, this planet to Diamond Shark. Ah, oh, we got a Storm Crow too. Improved shooting, restricted actuators, left and right, lower, okay. Yeah, 295,000, a little more than I thought. 46 days for repair. We got time to uh, make some cash here. Our second Lance is capable of running some stuff. So I I'm actually going to end the episode here, guys. Uh, I'm going to keep this one short. Um, we will be going beyond uh, 100 episodes, so um, we're just going to be, I think, for the next few episodes, just be doing the larger mechs, um, gathering up bits of equipment. What I'll probably end up doing is bringing forward the Archer, um, sorry, the Catapult again, the A1, because it's only got one missile point in each arm. And probably what I'll end up doing is, um, this guy got some half-decent stuff. What I'll, yeah, I'm going to repair him. Um, but I'll leave it for now. So what I'll do is I'll bring that uh, guy forward probably one or two financial reports from now and throw an arrow system in each arm and see what we can do with it. Um, just interested to see how that works out. All right. Um, so if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also drop some comments in the comment section down below if you have any ideas for outloading mechs just to test it out. Um, and until next time, we'll see everybody later.